It's time for Celebrity Family Feud. It's the Victoria's Secret Angels playing for the Susan G. Komen Breast Cancer Foundation. And it's your favorite bachelors playing for Girls, Inc. And now, the star of our show, Steve Harvey! Celebrity Family Feud, everybody. I'm your man, Steve Harvey. <laughs> Got another good one for you today. These celebrity teams are here gonna be battling it out for 25,000 bucks for their favorite charity. <laughs> well, let's meet our teams. It's the Victoria's Secret Angels. Jasmine, how are you? I'm great, how are this you? This is Jasmine Tooks, everybody. Uh, was selected, was selected, I gotta tell you this, to wear the $3 million fantasy bra at the 2016 Victoria's Secret Fashion Show. $3 million bra, right there. <laughs> well, introduce everybody. So we have Sarah, Martha, Laís, and Josephine. Ladies, welcome to the show. Have yourself a nice time, okay? Hey, let's go meet the bachelors. <laughs> Wells, what's up, man? Uh, this is Wells Adams, everybody. This is a bachelor, uh, bachelor in paradise bartender, uh, radio DJ. And you're in a right relationship with Sarah Hyland from Modern Family? Yep. Jack Pot. <laughs> 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 so, hey, man, introduce everybody. Uh, we got Wills, we got Eric, we got Blake, and Jason. <laughs> Y'all some good looking dudes, man. Appreciate it. Man, I used to know. I'm gonna tell you right there, last time I was this pretty, I was, I was, I was about nine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's play few, let's get it on. Give me Jasmine, give me Will. Today. No handshakes today. So nervous. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I'm so nervous. Now we're gonna have fun. Let's go, everybody. Top seven answers on the board. Where did you have your first makeout session? At a boyfriend's house. At a boyfriend's house. <laughs> Wales. <laughs> yeah, they don't give you no time, Wales. <laughs> yeah. You gonna play? Yeah, let's, let's play. Let's go. Yeah! <laughs> you know what Hello, I said. Sarah. Hello. You ready? This is going I now, so. <laughs> ladies. Your no moms pressure. are watching this. So, <laughs> where did you have your first makeout session? Car. In the car. Hello, Martha. Hi. Where did you have your first makeout session? School gymnasium. School gym. <laughs> School gymnasium. Yeah! Where did you have your first makeout session? In the theater. In the theater. Josephine, let me ask you this. Where'd you have your first makeout session? The library. The library. <laughs> library. Oh. Only one strike. Jasmine, where'd you have your first makeout session? Park. At the park, yeah. Sarah, only one strike. Where'd you have your first makeout session? At the beach. <laughs> On the beach! Oh. All right, we got two strikes, ladies. We gotta be careful now. We got two strikes the bachelors can steal. Martha. Martha, where did you have your first makeout session? Spring break. 
at spring break. That was a good one. All right, fellas. Gonna be a little bit different answers over here. Where'd you have your first makeout session? We're gonna go, we're gonna go with closet. What? <laughs> Privacy, baby. Privacy, privacy, privacy. privacy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Se All seven minutes. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. What? what? <laughs> the closet. Seven minutes. Seven, seven minutes. minutes of heaven. What? You never yeah. played Seven Minutes in Heaven? No, I, I'm with you. I'm okay. a guy. Seven yeah. seconds. Oh, no, okay. no I, I, I get the answer. Got it. Got it. I I'm know good. good hell well. Got... We going to the club. Basement flow. Yeah. Up against the furnace, behind the water heater, <laughs> in the attic, sweating my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> On the tree, by the garbage cans, behind the Let's garage, go. Let's go. under my daddy's station wagon. Uh, number seven. Oh. What are you doing, man? <laughs> we had. Yeah, y'all had that one. Number six. Let's go to question two. Give me Sarah. Give me Wills. Oh, yeah, yeah. Very stand. nervous, Steve. I know. I'm, <laughs> I'm nervous now, this ignorant-ass question. <laughs> English is not my first language, so go slow. It's not, English isn't your first language? No, so you gotta go slow. Ain't mine either. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? Here we go. Top seven answers on the board. The size and shape of Steve Harvey's head <laughs> is like a perfect what? English. <laughs> <laughs> How do you say egg in Portuguese? Ovo. 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 Yeah. Ovo. Egg. <laughs> Wheels. Bowling ball. Bowling ball. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The size and shape of Steve Harvey's head is like a perfect what? Watermelon. Watermelon. <laughs> yes. Watermelon. Yeah. Yeah. That hadn't been a black dude who said that, that would have been racist. <laughs> yeah, you hadn't been black, that would have been racist. He'd have said that. I'd have sued. <laughs> I'd have been hurt. Oh my God. Uh -oh. All right, Blake, let's go, man. The size and shape of Steve Harvey's head is like a perfect what? Planet. Planet. <laughs> <laughs> Earth. Earth. Hey, man. My head is that damn big. Earth. Planet. <laughs> Dang it. All right, Jason, only one strike. The size and shape of Steve Harvey's head like a perfect what? This is Steve. Um, I'm gonna go a bone in ham. Ham? Okay. <laughs> I like that, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. Stretch it. Oddly a specific. bone in you ham. Know, ham, like a nice ham. The hell, a ham? Yeah. Wait, oh, there's a ham now? <laughs> Not just a ham with the bone in, that's extra. <laughs> the bone, big bone in ham head. <laughs> All right, we got two strikes, man. We gotta be careful, Wells. The uh, Victoria's Secret ladies can steal. Ah, <sighs> grape? Oh. Grape. <laughs> okay. Little, but. It's it's shape. It's a grape. Shape. It's a shape. <laughs> Ah. All right, ladies, you got a, you got a consensus here? Yeah. Everybody got one? The size and shape of Steve Harvey's head is like a perfect what? 
Helmet? Helmet. <laughs> Helmet. Big ass football head. Helmet. <laughs> Number seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Really? How is Egg not in this? Hey, don't forget to tune in to The Bachelorette tomorrow at 8 p.m. on ABC. Don't go away, y'all. We'll be right back with more Celebrity Family Feud. Let's go, baby. <laughs> Welcome back, Celebrity Family Feud, everybody. We got a good one. Victoria's Secret Angels got 77. <laughs> Bachelors got 72. Come on, give me Martha. Give me Eric. Just trying to be nice. Yeah. You know? Two pretty people playing each other. It's all energy. See, see that right? All the ugly it's dudes in here, you used to that. <laughs> see, all us dudes that ain't been attracted, we done walked up to a bunch of fine women, went, yeah, and they went, eh, we used to that. Probably threw him into something. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Rege Sorry, I didn't mean to. Rejection is still love, you know? Rejection is still love. It's unconditional love. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. yeah. I like, I got shit to start using that. Yeah, either. yeah. Rejection is still love. I gotta start using that. It's unconditional. No. Yeah. All right, let's go, guys. Point values are double. We got top six answers on the board. <laughs> Name something you do on a range. Hike. Hike. Yeah. <laughs> Martha. Shoot. Shoot. Hey. You playing? Yeah. 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 Let's play. Come on. Laís. <laughs> yes. Got it. Name something you do on a range. Uh, ride a horse. You ride a horse. <laughs> hey, Josephine, name something you do on a range. Farming. Farming. Uh, Jasmine, name something you do on a range. Camp? Camp. Camp. Uh. All right, ladies, come on, angels. Listen to me. We got two strikes. We got to be careful. The bachelors can steal. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sarah, <clears throat> name something you do on a range. Ride tractors? Ride tractors. Ride tractors. Ride, ride. Let's go. All right, here's your chance, fellas. Name something you do on the range. Hit golf balls. On the driving range, sack. Hit golf balls. Number six. Five. <laughs> That's yep. farming. <laughs> That's ranching. Two. <laughs> That's all I knew. Well, let's move on to the next question. Give me Laís. Give me Blake. Blake, he said, Blake said, I ain't even going in for the hug. <laughs> Hi, I'm Blake, how are you? <laughs> Way to play it, partner. All right, point values are triple. Here we go, guys. Top four answers on the board. Name something you might buy if nudist moved into the house next door. Uh, drapes. Drapes. <laughs> Pass it, we're gonna play it. All right. All right, fellas, let's go. Jason, name something you might buy if nudists moved into the house next door. 
I'm going to go with sunglasses. Sunglasses? Blindfold, you know? Wells, name something you might buy if nudists moved into the house next door. Telescope? Yeah. Come on, baby. <laughs> I know it's creepy, but yeah. I don't know. Telescope is on there. All right, fellas, listen to me. We gotta pull it together now. We got two strikes. If it's there, you're still alive. If it's not there, the other team can steal and play sudden death. Okay? Name something you might buy if nudists moved into the house next door. A new house. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. Bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. No, I'm out of here. Pack it up! I'm out. No. A new house. <laughs> okay, ladies, here's the situation. We got uh, <laughs> three answers on the board. If either answer is there, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. your team steals, your team gets to play sudden death. If it's not there, the bachelors win the game. Jasmine, <laughs> name something you might buy if nudists moved into the house next door. Camera. A camera. This is for sudden death. A camera. Yeah. <laughs> You had both of them? Yes. Oh, okay, cool. Two. That's what we said! Hey, nobody reached you at the point, so we gonna play sudden death. Give me Josephine. Give me Jason. Good luck. You too. All so right, guys, for this survey, we're asking for the top answer only. Whoever gets this one answer will win the game. Good luck to both of you. Here we go. Name an animal that likes you whether you're a loser or not. Dog. A dog. Two of you to play Fast Money. Hey, guys, listen. We're going to make a donation for your charity for hanging out, man. Thanks for being good sports. We'll be right back. We're going to play Fast Money right after this. All right, you ready? All right, 20 seconds on the clock, please. Here we go. Name something your bedmate does in bed that should be against the law. Snore. Which, in which country are men the biggest playboys? France. How many days could you go without sleeping? Um, two. Name a food you cook for breakfast when camping out. Eggs. Fill in the blank, Austin blank. Powers. Right here, here we go. Uh, name something your bedmate does in the bed that should be against the law. You said... <laughs> Snore. Survey said... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> in which country are the men the biggest playboys? You said... <laughs> France. Survey said... <laughs> How many days could you go without sleeping? You said... <laughs> two. Survey said... Wow. Wait, wait Name a food you cook for breakfast when camping out. You said <laughs> some eggs. Survey said. <laughs> Don't mark that. Don't mark that. That's good. Fill in the blank. Austin blank. You said <laughs> Austin Powers. Survey said. <laughs> Well, 
I got good news and I got bad news. Okay. Which would you like first? Bad. The bad news. If you miss this... <laughs> oh, wow. This would be the biggest failure <laughs> in the history of game shows. No! Yeah. Oh. Here's the good news. You only need three points. Three? Martha got... I can't remember. The highest that. score in the history of Celebrity oh. Family Feud. 197 points. Okay. This is how this is gonna work. Yeah. I'm gonna ask you the same five questions. You cannot duplicate the answers. If you do, you're gonna hear this sound. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say try again. You give me another answer. It's gonna be a little bit tougher this time, so we'll give you 25 seconds. You ready? Mm -hmm. All right, let's remind everybody of Martha's answers. 25 seconds on the clock, please. Name something your bedmate does in the bed that should be against the law. Snoring. Try again. Sweating. In which country are men the biggest playboys? America. How many days could you go without sleeping? Five. Name a, <laughs> name a food you cook for breakfast when camping out. Bacon. Fill in the blank, Austin blank. Texas. All right, here we go. Name something your bedmate does in the bed that would, should be against the law. You said... Sweating. Survey said... Oh, it's such a good answer. Snoring was number one. That was a good one. In which country are men the biggest playboys? You said... Right here, USA. Survey said... Boom. <laughs> Number one answers. Snores, France, two, eggs, Austin Powers, and Texas was tied for number one. She had all number one answers. Well, that's $25,000 for the Susan G. Coleman Breast Cancer Foundation. I want to thank Jasmine Wells and the rest of you for coming out, hanging out with us on Celebrity Family Feud. Stay tuned. We got two new families with Celebrity Family Feud continues.